Thank you, Megan. As a proud Pangasinan, how do you, how can you best introduce your province to first-time tourists visiting the place? Where will you bring them and what is the best way for them to experience our renowned, worldwide renowned hospitality? Well, if I had the choice to bring them anywhere, I would bring them to my hometown, Ben Malay. I would bring them to the town center, a place of history, culture, and people. We're in the middle, cherry blossoms bloom, and we have the iconic fountain of hope, which symbolizes the strength of the people of Ben Malay during the time of the pandemic. And from there, I would bring you to the ocean and let you enjoy the luxurious view and the beautiful feeling of being behind the beach. And I would, and I would bring this aspect. All right, thank you so much. Candidate number three. How, Pangasinense, how can you best introduce your province to first-time tourists visiting the place? Where will you bring them? And what is the best way for them to experience our world-renowned hospital hospitabi 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 hospitability 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 ako pala yung nag ano nag fall hospitability I will showcase them or I mean I will bring them to our Lady of Manawag aside from my municipality because I believe that as Pangasinenses, we ourselves are very spiritual and religious. And with the Holy Week, with the recent Holy Week, we can see how devoted we are as Pangasinenses, that we are not just Urduho, we are resilient and brave. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pangasinense, how can you best introduce your province for the first time? So tourists visiting the place, where will you bring them and what's the best way for them to experience our world-renowned hospitality? I will bring them to my very own home here in Lingayen Beach. This has been a place of solace for me. As an advocate of mental health, I believe that Pangasinan is not just a beautiful tourist attraction, but rather a sanctuary for the mind and the soul. And I, that is what I want to share the whole world. How beautiful Pangasinan is, not just through our eyes, but through our hearts and through our minds. And I believe that I can be an Indas who can to represent this beautiful town and its peaceful heart and mind. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. As a proud Pangasinense, how can you best introduce your province to first-time tourists visiting the place? Where will you bring them and what's the best way for them to experience our world-renowned hospitality? <laughs> As a proud Pangasinense, I would want to take our first-time tourists, of course, to my home city, which is Erdenet City. And I would bring them to uh, visit our rural areas and be able to appreciate also our city proper. Uh, Erdenet City is, um, has the best of both worlds with the commerce and the rural roots of our people. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Pangasinense, how can you best introduce your province for the first time tourists visiting the place? Where will you bring them and what's the best way for them to experience our world-renowned hospitality? Well, Pangasinan is my home and I would introduce it to the first time where like it is their home. I would introduce them to the different tourist destinations of our province, the 100 islands of Alaminos, my town, which is Palinao, which have, you have seen, which is the wonders of the West. And I will let them taste our local delicacies and of course I will let them feel the warmth of every Pangasinan because we are here to show you that this is your home away from home. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, your top five. Alright, grabe. Nerve-wracking talaga yung mga moments na yan for our top five candidates. You guys have witnessed. May mga bet na ba kayo?